Welcome to UK Theme Parks for another adventure vlog here on the channel and today comes from Edinburgh, Scotland, Edinburgh Zoo, our very very first visit to Edinburgh Zoo. Obviously home at the moment to the UK's only giant pandas and actually only the second location in the UK to have koalas as well. Um, both species Cody and I haven't seen so this is why we're here. Now we'll say the beautiful views that you saw in the opening there of Edinburgh, look at it. But let me tell you, we've walked a mountain to get up here. If you haven't been to Edinburgh Zoo, honestly, it is a mission of a place. We literally start right at the bottom there, walk our way up, but what an amazing day we're gonna have, Cody. Yeah. What an amazing time. Now, again, I know not everyone likes the adventure vlogs, but please, please, please support the channel. Give us a like, it really helps us against YouTube's algorithm. And you know, we're bringing and documenting things that we do as a family. There's plenty of theme park stuff on the channel and updates to come over the next couple of months. And we're going to start right at the top here with the giraffes. I have to say, this looks like a new area or two. Well, we haven't been before, I can't confirm or deny that. What made people have taken the giraffes to walk up here? It's quiet here at the moment, and here are the giraffes, Cody. Tea training going outside. You're overheating. Just boiling. I'm absolutely freezing this week. I'm not coping with Scotland very well at all in the weather. Oh, majestic. Now we are lucky we see these quite a lot at Chesington World of Adventures, but still, we'll have to see the giraffes. So everyone's standing at the gate there, trying to look around the corner to see the giraffes, but if you stand here, there's a perfect view of them. I mean, we saw them on the inside, didn't we? Yeah. But still. He's poking his little head out, look. Right, down here are the Sumatran Tigers. So yeah, this is the hilltop view. We thought we were at the top, but actually it carries on going up. And we started on the one side of the zoo. The pandas are right over the other side of the zoo. So we're gonna work our way across the back and then start working our way back down. As we said, these are really, really steep hills. If you're coming with someone with disability problems or uh, mobility problems, you're gonna struggle. You really are going to struggle. Oh, it's a bowling pin. Mm. Two male lions in here. Both chilling in. That's quite, so quite, quiet. quite a big land actually for them to uh, explore in there, isn't it? Here we are on the tiger tracks down the side. We're not really sure what links to what. So whilst it might not look it, because we we really are up in the mountains here, right up in the in the hillsides. Uh, this is a city zoo. When you're down the bottom and you enter, you're entering opposite people's houses. There's a pay for car park, three pounds to pay for the day, which actually is very reasonable for given the amount of time you'll be here. But you wouldn't think that up here. No, you wouldn't. Wonder. You wouldn't think that at all. Uh, this cuts to the other side. Right, let's cut to the other side. Yeah. See if we can see the tigers. Now we have inadvertently walked into the dinosaur area, which is quite it's quite big. This is fairly new to the park. We're not going to walk around it. We're not going to walk around it all, but it goes it goes all the way up. There's a cafe up here as well. I'll tell you what though, might be the quickest route, Cody. Might be the quickest route to where we want to go. All right, I think we've reached the top. We have, this is the top of Holy crap. Look at that view. Holy crap, but it is a view. I said, it's a city zoo. You wouldn't think it being up here, but this is a city zoo. No wonder they're building up into the, uh, into the lands here. I'll we'll be pushing a the push there up here, Cod. Should we run down there? Should we get a bad idea? I think it's a short part, we can take that risk. He falls. I'm not rescuing him. He's made it, fair play. Hi. 
Bless them. Bless them there. The zebras having a uh, having a little play. You can see they've got loads of space. There is actually another one under the tree over there as well. I can see its backside, and you've got a little walkway across to have a look through. And then I zoom down for for the pandas. There we go. More panda viewing. More panda viewing. That's what we want. Oh yeah, we are completely above the pandas. Yes, yeah, so we're above the pandas. So those houses over there are the panda houses. The giant pandas, which you think really is what, I mean, it's, it's like a massive thing for us, isn't that it? Is We've come one. here to see the pandas. And then the pandas can come out in this top bit here. Apparently they're quite solitary. They don't actually live together. There's two separate ones. Don't know whether both pens are open today. Don't know whether we'll be able to see anything other than its butt, because that seems to be its favorite position. But if it's feeling adventurous, it can come out all along here, all across up there. It's not that warm today, although Cody's sweating and he thinks it's warm. It's not it's that warm. warm today, but let's take you inside so we can show you some pandas. We have a Sumatran tiger. So Sumatran tigers are slightly smaller on in there, and then we have the Amur tigers. Of course we see, well we have seen these quite locally, but here... Oh. So here they have this rather unique tunnel where the tigers can go over the top. This would suit Chesenton, wouldn't it? This would. Perfect. Get rid of those stupid dogs and have a bigger enclosure for the lions and have this over the middle. What a what a point that would be. So yeah, point of difference. Unique. I mean, the Sumatran tiger is fast asleep, to be fair. Um, I don't blame it. It's cold. All right, we got sidetracked by tigers, so we didn't have to walk back up the hill. But, but, it is finally panda time. And we're really excited for this, aren't we? Really excited, yeah. uh, you know. Me mum, luckily, who we're with, and she's she's in the cafe, she can't make it up here all the way. You know, she saw them at London Zoo. Wasn't alive then, I don't think, when they were at London Zoo. And they're so sort of, um, rare. Yeah, I mean, probably not going to see them once they're gone from know. here. No, I think once they're gone from here, I don't know whether any other <laughs> can't UK park... anywhere else that get them, apart from maybe Chester, but... <laughs> I can't imagine that. So apparently these cost a million pound a year to rent. And I dread to think exactly what they'll do when it's gone, but let's go and have a look. No, you just put your hand up. I took 49 burst pictures. Why does your camera have so much more blur? I can make That's camera button cost. That's lovely Oh yeah, they love that. Yeah. 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 How cool was that though? Saw it. That was more cool. Yeah. Facing face. us. It's facing us. Don't know what this one's doing. Oh, so this is the bigger one. 
Here is the Wallaby walkthrough, which we have been through. We're not going to go through again. It's got a little bit busier now, in fairness, here at the zoo. But you can start at the top, work your way down, or start at the bottom, work your way up. Now, we are going around to there, because that's where the koalas are. So we've just come from up there, the pandas, and then, of course, the tigers. But pandas, oh my, that is it's an experience, isn't it? Yep. That's just, uh, honestly... Oh, honestly, it's made me so happy. I know that uh, we're a think park channel, aren't we? Yeah. And we like the but... rides and things. But oh my God, that was incredible. And you know, we're not too bad at Scotland this year, in fairness. It's our first ever visit to Scotland, so I highly doubt we'll be back anytime soon. Nope. What do we know? So, um, yeah, they leave in August. They've been here 10 years. I know a lot of people have been to see them, but we've never had a chance, to be honest. And I said, I don't know what UK Zoo will be getting them next, but yeah, incredible experience, right. Koalas is another one we've never seen before, so round to the koalas. Right, koala territory. So it's only here in Longley in the UK that's got to, uh, koalas. Of course, eucalyptus is their, uh, their thing of choice. Now, we do know in here it is difficult to spot them, so we'll do our best. But we've got to be quiet. Yeah. Got to be quiet. There's a few people in here. Mm. Let's see. I can see them in a tree. I can see them in a the tree. See, I thought they inherited the whole of Australia. I didn't realise it was just um, on the east coast. There he is in the tree there. They don't move much. And the other one's right down the back. He's not going to be picked up very well. I'll try and get some close ups. Away from the madness, here he is sitting in his tree. Just chilling out. Really enjoyed that. Yeah. Really, really enjoyed that. Right, there are some other, obviously, some other animals here as well, including the sun bears, which we did see on the way in. Yes, we did. We did see some sun bears on the way in, so we'll put the clip in of the sun bears. And a massive penguin area. It's huge. <laughs> like, huge penguin area, which is down this way. So, that's the top end of the zoo done, and I tell you now, I'm exhausted. And Cody said we've already done sort of eight, 9,000 steps, which I'm not surprised about. It's not even lunchtime yet. Not even lunchtime. No. But wow. Wow, wow, wow. It's an Indian, Indonesian southern castle wary. <laughs> Literally the size of like a rail. Yeah, it is. Yeah. I thought they were just the little ones. I just assumed they were little ones, in fairness. I won't lie to you. I didn't think they were that big. He's gone behind there. Let's see if we can pull back around here. He's mm -hmm. massive. What are you saying? Imagine coming across that in Indonesia. <laughs> Sorry. That's a big old otter family, this one. See some of the crows trying to get involved. Brave crows. There's a distinct lack of seagulls around here, we've noticed. This is quite nice. <laughs> That's one brave crow. He's just bitten his, bit his backside. If I was that otter, I'd tear that thing apart. Definitely. He's next to a bit of food as well. Yeah, yeah. Soft otter. Soft otter. Here's a lovely overview of Penguin Rock. Now, of course, Edinburgh Zoo started and is well known for penguins, not pandas, believe it or not. Penguins is where they got their name from, Edinburgh. And they do have a beautiful enclosure here, and there's a lot of penguins over there. A lot of penguins. So we're head over to the bridge now and show you some of the penguins. <laughs> Literally feeding time at the zoo. This is weird actually because all the penguins are mixed together. You usually find they're separated when there's different breeds of penguins around, but they all seem to get on quite nicely. These three over here, they've taken the wrong route. Obviously, can't be bothered to swim through either. The ever job of washing the 
waste away. It's a big old area. Don't think that was going so far. They were right the spot deep. It's deep. He's on a little. Oh, he's getting everyone's way now. <laughs> he's starting a trend. So they were just a race. So all the rock hopper ones have separated themselves. It looks like they can get out. The fact he's still on the top there, he could easily hop down, couldn't he, if he wanted to? Oh yeah. Oh, really, I reckon he could hop onto the gate as well and drop wherever that goes. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I, I think the keepers have noticed this because there's also a water bowl mm. down there. So I'm assuming they don't leave there very often. Whether they want their nest in this time of year would be my guess. So the king ones we tore over the other side, the big yellow ones, the gen 2 ones are these smaller ones. And then the rock hopper ones here are the three species they have here at uh, Edinburgh Zoo. There is the greater one horn rhino. Two of them. When we were down the bottom, obviously one wasn't out, but. Now we come up here, we can see them both having a little meeting through the fence. She walked off. Not super excited in the magic forest, however, it's time for sloths. It should be warm in here as well, I'm frozen. Mm -hmm. And here's the sloth house. It's lovely and warm in here. And sloth is just in the box over. He is shockingly fast asleep in the basket. And back to the start with the meerkats. Yep. That's it. That is our venture to Edinburgh Zoo, our very first time to Scotland and our very first time to Edinburgh Zoo. We came to see the giant pandas before they leave the country and wow, breathtaking, absolutely breathtaking. They're here till the summer, if you get a chance to come up and you've never seen them, this might be your only chance. Favourite animal? The pandas. Yeah, undoubtedly, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's good to see koalas as well, actually. We haven't seen koalas before. So yeah, there it is, Edinburgh Zoo. What do we think? Actually, it's a really nice put together zoo. You have got to be fit to get around here. My legs are killing me. We've done 20 odd thousand steps now. I am exhausted, absolutely exhausted, but it is a beautiful layout. There's still some old displays here. And I do think, because we've got a road around, they do have electric cars, which help uh, disability people go up the, um, go up the road however there are just random cars driving and they're driving too quick i can't lie to you there they're driving too quick didn't appreciate one of the minis come uh, charging through by the penguin display there's a lot of little children around but from edinburgh zoo have you been let us know in the comments we've had an amazing time here on uk theme parks thank you for joining us we'll see you next time